part of what we celebrate. Every person who runs the Boston Marathon has a mission and a story. And these runners share a story of survival. Mm -hmm. Two years ago today, they were at the finish line when the bombs went off. And tonight, they are part of Team 415 Strong, getting ready to run the race of their lives. I was um, right next to Marathon Sports. Just about to finish, um, about 10 or 15 yards from the finish line. I was actually right in front of that lamppost. They're total strangers who were brought together by a single unimaginable experience. Open blast wound here behind my leg. I'm strapped no wounds. Incredible pain in my ears. Their road to recovery brought them full circle back to the marathon itself. Seven months after the attacks, the BAA offered survivors entry to the 2014 race. Team 415 Strong was born. The last thing I remember thinking before the bomb went off was, I want to run this race. And then here I was a year later, and I had the opportunity to do that. Elizabeth Birmingham had already run a marathon, but most of this group had not. And the goal was to help them train. I was watching people that were really not runners get very excited about having these passes to run the marathon. And there were, you know, these, there were these wonderful comments of, you know, this is a chance to take back the finish line. Um, these are folks that had been hurt the year before. We didn't want them to get hurt again. Dave Fortier ran for Dana-Farber in 2013 and had trained with former Boston champ Jack Fultz, who was quick to offer his services. Jack became our coach. He was excited about that. The folks at Marathon Sports have let us train out of here. 28 of these survivors trained for, started, and finished the Boston Marathon last year. Most have never run more than five miles. It was a really emotional experience. I haven't worked that hard for anything in my entire life. This year's team includes first-timer Michelle LaRue. She admits training has been tough, but it's all relative. Thinking about the weeks that I wasn't able to walk, I think, you know, sometimes when I'm running, looking down at my legs, I think, wow, I went from that and now look what I'm doing. Put that on your plan of places to run because you The same resolve that will out. get them to the finish line has guided their journeys. You're stronger than you ever could realize you are. And I don't think you sometimes realize it until you have no other option. Don't let something stop you. And this was, I was originally one of those folks that said they were going to be one and done with a marathon. And I think this will always be a part of me now. Just like this group of people. It's a really funny thing if you think about standing on the street, how many strangers do you pass at any given moment? You'll never see them again, and here we are, and we are more bonded than any friends are. They become family. I come from a family with two brothers. I never had sisters. I now have sisters. Friendship with these folks is very precious to me, and those were gifts I were given out of going through something so horrible. Certainly strangers no more. There could be about 25 runners of the course Monday from Team 415, which of course is the date, April 15th. Another group will run the BAA 5K on Saturday morning. And of course, WBZ is so proud to be your official marathon station. We'll have complete coverage of Monday's race starting right here at 7 o'clock in the morning.